What? <laughs> what are you grinning? What's up, partners? I hope you guys are doing absolutely great today. Um, Monica and I are still in Florida, yep. so we're in a hotel room right now. We're actually just about to leave. We're fully packed up. We thought today, why don't we have a chat about our first date? Because I don't think we ever actually discussed that on here. No. So we wanted to share with you guys like every little romantic aspect of our life. So this is what we wanted to share with you today. I'm excited about this video. So your makeup looks gorgeous today as well. Thank you. I said that. Wow. Wow. So basically, this is going to be split into like three different parts. And if yeah. you haven't watched our channel before, we're in a long distance relationship. So I'm from England, as you can probably tell by my accent. And I've got a bit of a bunged up nose today, so I don't sound like myself really. <laughs> but uh, Monica's from New York. So we've been traveling back and forth since 2015. It's been crazy, but we're getting married next year. So we thought we'd just... <laughs> in light of that, reminisce on old times and have a chat about our first dates. Yeah, he says dates with an S because we don't really know which one to classify as our first date. <laughs> so the first date-ish was... <laughs> this one we have actually talked about, but this, yes. again, this isn't like our first date. We'll give you guys a super quick recap. Basically, it was the 11th of October 2015. We met in Euston Station in London. This was our first time ever meeting. We talked for a couple of months. We, it, it wasn't super romantic, was it? We no. just kind of, we knew of each other. I knew you were coming to the UK. It was flirtatious though. Yeah, it was flirtatious, but we hadn't been like, oh, you're coming to the UK and we're gonna fall in love and yeah, run away together. that was not, um, was So yeah, we basically, Monica was flying to the UK to visit her friend, Emmy, who lives up in Scotland. Emmy had exams at university or it was something like that, wasn't it? So she couldn't come down to London to meet you. So I said, I'll hop on the train and, and go down to London to meet you instead and like show you around and stuff. When I landed in England to meet him for the first time, um, I was so hungry. I don't like airplane food. It's just like, grosses me out. She's the pickiest DC you'll ever meet in your and life. And I basically. had not eaten for literally like 12 hours. No, honestly, probably like 30 hours because I was so nervous the day before. 12 hours and then she goes, no, 30 because hours. Because I, I forgot, I was so nervous the day before. So like, I really didn't eat, maybe like a snack here and there. <laughs> I'm on the plane, I land, I'm at the train station, and I'm like, oh, yes, I can't wait to finally eat, getting all ready to like fill my stomach meanwhile, that's rumbling like crazy. Meanwhile, I was on like a three and a half hour train down to London. I told Monica it was, it was like a quick half an hour journey, because yeah. I was like, no, it's no big deal, I can come meet you down in London. And yeah, so I'd been on like a, I hadn't had breakfast, I left my house at like 9am or something like that and arrived at 12.30. We met at 12.30 yeah. for the first time. We've already talked about that in another video, so if you want to check that out, have a look through our videos yeah. on the Sam and Monica channel, and you'll you'll learn all about that and see about our first meeting and stuff. But after we first met, we walked out of the train station, and I guess, I don't know if you could call this our first date, that's why we're talking about three of them. Yeah. But um, we walked out of the train station, and everyone that's been to the UK and everyone from the UK knows that Nando's is it's the best. I know that now, okay? I didn't know that at the time. Now I know how amazing Nando's is, but when we first got there, like I said, I'm a, I was a much pickier eater than I am now. So we walked out of the train station, okay? I saw a Nando's outside the Euston Station in London. I was like, oh my God, Nando's. And she was like, what? And I was like, you've never had a Nando's? Like, everybody's had a Nando's. Um, like it's literally, it's a thing to lose your Nando's virginity in the UK because <laughs> everyone has a Nando's. So we went to Nando's. And like, I looked at them, well, I didn't even need to look at the menu because I've been so many times before. I was, I was like, right, I'm going to get my thing. Monica <laughs> looks at the menu, okay? And bearing in mind, like, she's used to the US, like, fast food and stuff like that. She looks at the menu, she goes, butterfly chicken. Okay. She's like, <laughs> what's that? I remember this story completely different. I no, no, no. Butterfly chicken. No, you, okay, <laughs> you're not on Broadway, okay? You didn't go, butterfly chicken. Really went down with it. I was like, I don't really see anything I like. You're yeah, like, you didn't. You were, I didn't see anything. Like, I, I was, I was like, you like chicken? You like butterfly chicken? You're I was like, like, I don't I think I like that. Is, so I was like, I was like, it literally just means it's been cut down. But what middle. I said really though was, I'm really not that hungry. Yeah. Um, you know, I think I'll set this one out. So I was, I was like, you by sure? The way, by the way, you were like, you should even want like a side of chips. I was like, I don't want the potato chips. I'm hungry for food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chips fries. in the UK are fries, by the way. Yeah. And Nando's fries are great. Oh my god, they're so Especially bad. with Paranese. Like I said, I love you, Nando's, so much like, <laughs> I literally love you. So, so anyway, we're getting sidetracked. So, yeah, she looked at the menu and she she sees the butterfly chicken. And uh, she looks at it she's like, I'm not very hungry. 
I was, like, I was like, you sure? Because like, I'm really sorry, Monica, but I'm starving. So do you mind if My I get some sweets? Like... I was like, do you mind if I get something sweet? She was like, no, no, that's fine. I, I'm not very hungry at all, so I'm just gonna have a snack. So she takes out these Pringles Sarah from her bag. And I think, they were, I, I think they were stale because they usually taste the same. No, they're they're not. They were not stale. I bought it literally that day, but there was something different about it, and it was so bad. And I was like. What am I so she ate like one Pringle. I was like, this guy's gonna be like, your stomach is saying you're starving. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so yeah, that was our first like unofficial date. I don't know three. if I can say that our first date. So bringing on to the next meal, we actually, between this time, we w went to a park and had our first kiss. Again, that's in another video. So go and check it out if you haven't seen it already. What did we eat that evening? Nothing. I guess you were like, I'm not that hungry. I'm like, me either. <laughs> Oh, I always thought we had part of No, it was dinner. the next day for lunch. That's why oh I was so excited. Oh my god, so it was because I, got... I was like, yes. The next day, I was like, finally gonna get some food. You know what's crazy? I was I was looking through my camera roll earlier, and I found the first picture I took of you in a restaurant. And you had your chicken fingers, and I had my huge meatballs in front <laughs> of Hollywood. I'm gonna put it up on the screen now. <laughs> so we finally got the next day. This is like maybe our first date. Day, but I don't know. See, this is our second unofficial date, but like, I don't it's know if it counts as our first yet, official because date. Because I was like, <laughs> about to pass out. Yeah, we were just there out of convenience. It wasn't like I was like, Monica, do you want to come on this romantic date with me kind of thing. Yeah, so we went to Planet Hollywood. I got my chicken fingers. You finally got your fill. I'm like, Whoo! But I remember, I had this huge plate of like, meatballs here, 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 here. Like, huge plate, <laughs> and you had this <laughs> tiny little plate of chicken fingers. Was it a kid's meal, probably? I think it was a kid's meal, yeah. Let's get to the good one, okay? Because these okay. are really bad. After our second kind of unofficial date, we stayed in London for four days, and then we flew together to the south of France. I think for 10 days, was it, we went to the yeah. south of France? Yeah. Um, and a few friends came with us as well. It was a really, really fun trip, wasn't it? We really became a couple in the south of France. Yeah. So the date I asked Monica out, we, we arrived in the south of France on the 15th of October. On the 16th of October, I asked Monica on our first real Dates, Except, guys, dates. I didn't know that he was asking me on a date. Because you didn't go up to me and say, hey, do you want to go date? You came up to me and you're like, hey, do you want to go di to dinner tonight? And obviously we're with all of our friends, so I'm like, guys, Sam wants to go out I was, I was like, I was like, guys, <laughs> don't you dare come with us. I remember them looking and being like, no, we'll just eat there. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I know what's happening. Like, he's asking me on a date. <laughs> I was so excited. You're so <laughs> naive. <laughs> oh, there's no way this so, little handsome man is asking me on a date right I now. found the nicest restaurant in the area. We walked, I didn't think it'd be like a mile. So far. Got there, it was perfect. It was a perfect day. Everything was perfect. It? I remember right as we were getting ready to leave, that's when I was asking, like, why don't we play like a game, like get to know each other more. And we were playing the question game, which if you saw how he asked me yeah, out, that ended up coming into play. But it was really sweet. That was the romantic one. The dinner oh, was so to... good. Yeah, the dinner was great. We ended the date and it was like a mile walk back to the apartment, wasn't it? Do you want to say? Um, whenever Sam says, oh, it's only like two minutes away, it's a five minute walk. If you just like multiply it by like 3,000. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not very good at like calculating distance, I guess. No, he's good at it. He just doesn't want to tell people. <laughs> he knows that we won't be up for it. But anyway, so after our date, we had to walk back and then we were walking along the beach and it was really romantic. And that is when we were playing the question game. I was just like, what's your favorite thing about this? Whatever. And then um, I said, what's something that you want to tell me or something like that? And then he said, I want you to be my girlfriend. I was like, oh my gosh. So that was our first three dates. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please, please, please subscribe. Please hit the like button, drop a comment, let us know how much you liked it, all that kind of stuff. If you didn't like it, just, just leave. Just don't, don't, don't do it. You don't have to say anything. Just, you just no, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, if you've got any other video ideas, stuff you want us to film, stuff you want to see, let us know and we'd love to film yeah. and we'd love to kind of talk about what you guys want to hear. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.